every single client or subject or wedding client is totally different. So digging back into the archives, I knew that Serena and Dilraj with their model-like looks uh, had a different personality to another couple who may be spontaneously giggly and, uh, and happy-go-lucky and carefree. These images that I would now create in Sorrento would need to look refined, look slick, uh, and we would need to have fun shooting at the same time. So come with me behind the scenes to Sorrento in Italy uh, as we shoot a engagement or pre-wedding shoot. miles away. We've travelled probably about 110 miles so we're in the middle of nowhere in between Napoli and Sorrento. So we're getting there tired but we're getting there. Feels good. On the left side, yes. You will have a Regina Giovanna. Regina Giovanna, which you have to go down uh, to walk in about uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Perfect. Regina Giovanna Beach, which is very nice and good. Right, love. So, when the sun is over there, we're in a pretty good position. It's not too bad. The sun will be a lot lower, and it's just what's going to happen. Effectively, those rocks are going to be lit up just a little bit more but the light will need to be filling from this side. It's not perfect, it's not ideal. So the sun's coming here, that's gonna create specular light on the side, and then our light would have to wrap it more, coming from here. That's pretty, you know, that's pretty cool. It's quite editorial. It's amazing, We've the lighting from round the front where we were a minute ago was a lot flatter because the sunlight effectively was almost like it was on camera. It's coming from the same direction as the camera. But now we've moved around because the sun is to the right hand side of your screen. On everything we're just getting highlight and a little bit of shadow and it's just making everything a lot more interesting. So we're going to shoot using this yacht, hopefully we don't get uh, stopped, but I think it'll come out quite cool. It's very interesting, you look at the light level on that yacht at the moment, from where we are, it looks quite dull, and some of the, uh, the light bouncing off the water is, is very subtle. If we move down this way, because of the direction of the sun, as we move down, the boat gets brighter and brighter. And that can make a difference between a, a good photograph light that you're looking for on, on one so it's a lot duller and doesn't have as much punch to it there's one light <laughs> that we don't have the way of us <laughs> um, or one octo box that we were looking for so we're going to work with one light two lights including the sun Despite everyone, carry on. But don't look at me, you're going to be looking out that way, Dilraj's going to be looking out that way. Awesome, 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 awesome. Right, let's get people going in front. Get people going in front, direct them all through. Instead, I don't mind having people passing through. 
for a first photo, guys. Damn. Oh, it's That's cool. Take that. Yes, bring that knee across more. More, 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 more. There we go, yes. Love that, absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Love it, man. So cool, we can really play with this. There we go, now bring the leg across. I mean, you can turn that shoe very slightly. Fantastic, awesome. Okay, last shot guys and then Okay, we're going to bring that down by three clicks. What we're doing now is we're starting to scout um, locations. We know we want to do something that's more uh, water-based, um, slightly more naval, maybe using boats, using beaches. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and do that today. So I've got the iPad, uh, Google Maps combined with Street View combined with a very cool app called Light Track. Uh, and Light Track is the app that allows us to work out what direction the sun is facing. So we should be able to get an idea of if we were in this direction, the sun would be from, from this angle. So that's what we're gonna do now. Cool, so we are now on the ocean, we've, we've rented a couple of boats, so you can see uh, Dilraj and Serena are on their boat and we've got our boat, gives us a couple of options because what we can do is we can shoot from one boat to another, we can potentially put a light on this boat and then uh, and light them up, so we've got a few options, we're going to go straight across the ocean to an island, probably about take about half an hour, 45 minutes and uh, hopefully we don't lose any gear, let's go! Alright, gun it Ashley, slowly, slowly, slowly. It looks like it's CGI, it's absolutely incredible. Things are great in the sunlight, we use them for video, but they're absolutely brilliant for looking at your pictures on the back of the camera when the sun is this bright. There, okay, this is where I need to be. This is the position we need with the rocks behind us. Yeah? Cool. And let's go around, that's what we're looking for. what we've got to go through. So we've got to try and get this shot. They're close and we're going through that tight gap. And we get the explosion right and the explosion. Okay, beautiful guys. Like, like, beautiful. 
Georgia for a while. Yep, we're good, let's go. I'm trying to make this look cool, but it's <laughs> not working. Very cool day today of shooting. Um, it's always the way. Day one is just a bit of learning, we're getting used to it. Um, and then the next day, when we've got all of the principles, then we just we have fun. Uh, and we came out with some very, very cool stuff. These photos here, I'm really pleased with. Um, we managed to create this almost uh, Eden like um, set of photographs. Mm -hmm. 